G-E-T-T-Y 18 years ago Rula Lenska went to Tibet for two weeks on a life-changing adventure What is your most memorable holiday? I've been a Buddhist for nearly 30 years and 18 years ago, I went to Tibet for two weeks on a life-changing adventure. We started in Kathmandu in Nepal and finished in the city of Lhasa. We covered more than 600 kilometers with a combination of four-wheel drive vehicles, walking, trekking, public transport and flying, but the altitude made the trip physically challenging. At one point, just past the Chinese Tibetan border, I found it extremely difficult to breathe. I'll never forget catching my first sight of Mount Everest, dazzlingly bright white against a clear blue sky, when we were at about 4,300 feet. It was breathtaking, as was the vision of hundreds of ornately dressed Tibetan pilgrims at the Tashil Henpo Monastery, a beautifully sacred place whose golden Buddha is the largest gilded statue in the world. G-E-T-T-Y-I covered over 600 kilometers with a combination of driving, walking and flying your worst H-O-L-I-D-A-Y-I -I have never experienced more of a culture shock than when I visited Hong Kong around 20 years ago. I went to some of the outdoor markets and, as a huge conservationist, it was distressing to see the inhumane conditions of many of the animals. Unfortunately, the Chinese don't view animal welfare in the same way as we do in the West. A couple of years ago, I visited the Galapagos Islands, which was life-changing in its own way. I felt as if I was the only person there, visiting islands that are uninhabited, with animals that have never been threatened so they feel completely safe with humans. It was a truly stunning experience. G-E-T-T-Y A large bull elephant against a Kilimanjaro backdrop I'll never forget catching my first sight of Mount Everest Rula Lenska How do you spend your time on holiday? It depends on the holiday. Kenya is one of my favorite places and when I'm there I'm intent on seeing and doing as much as possible. I enjoy a safari much more than lying on a beach with a book. Of course, I love relaxing in the sunshine but on a journey like that it's not my priority. I also enjoy a nice strong drink and watching the sun set over the Indian Ocean, and either do crossword puzzles or have a few drinks with friends. Getty Stock from Tuscany Rula brought back bottles of extra virgin olive oil Best book My favorite books are autobiographies, historical thrillers and ghost stories. I highly recommend Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantle, the sequel to her brilliant Wolf Hall, which concentrates on Oliver Cromwell's role in the downfall of Anne Boleyn. It's a gruesome read for a holiday but, historically, it's incredibly true to life. You feel like you're smelling the smells and being part of history at that time. Best souvenir I bring back some sort of keepsake from every country I visit, to such an extent that my house is like a warehouse and it's a shrine to wildlife. One of my most treasured possessions is a collection of animal pictures by Gary Hodges, who is probably the best known wildlife pencil artist in the world. His pictures of elephants, tigers, giraffes, polar bears, orangutan and gorillas are like mementos of all my travels. I went to Tuscany this summer to film a show for Channel 5 and brought back three bottles of Divoli Extra Virgin Olive Oil. We used it so much in our cooking, and since doing extra virgin olive oil tasting sessions, I've realized it's worth going for the most expensive one you can afford. It really makes a difference. Where next the top of my bucket list is to see the gorillas in Rwanda. I'd love to go there with Ian Redmond, head of the Ape Alliance and probably the most experienced of the gorilla experts, and have a really personal introduction to gorillas. I'd also like to return to China to visit bears rescued from the bear bile farms there and in Vietnam, Rulenska appears on A Celebrity Taste of Italy, Fridays, at 9pm on Channel 5.